You want to talk to your teacher? Miss Sue. Think she'll tell us good things? Yes. You think she'll say that you work hard? Yes. I hope so. Work ethic. Therein lies the essence of Glenn Caruso, a family man first. I love you. Kind of weird, All right, folks. But then it's off to work he goes. Get ready to be caught in the riptide that is one of the hottest coaches in college football. We haven't gotten a block PAT all year, have we? Great week to talk about that. The powwow with his dutiful and impressive staff is followed by video work, breaking down not just games, but in this case, practice. And I do believe that our staff is very, very much on the same page, and that's why we meet and spend so much time watching the film. There are several of these film sessions. Boy, that is an ugly start. His exacting scrutiny is meticulous. I think they're going to put all those guys right in the box and let us throw three-step all day long. Caruso's events of the day are at times laborious, but this isn't a guy who seeks simple. My dad and my mom worked ridiculously hard to make sure that their kids were good people and hard workers. And all I try and do every day is make sure that I'm living up to the expectations that they set. And to be frank with you, I think there's not enough of those expectations out there nowadays. His dad was an attorney. Caruso was a courtroom rat. As a kid, he became a student of human nature, and it serves him well. John, how'd it go last night? Good. I thought you guys did a tremendous job. Thanks. Are you happy with it? Yep, very happy. We'll do our best. Right. We'll do our best. I love it. We'll keep yeah. working. Congratulations. Not many people say I'm too bright, so thank you very much. I usually don't get that one. Guys, have a great day. Thank, thank you very you. much. Yes, he's a charming guy, but he's also a thoroughbred of a coach. He inherited a 2-8 and eight team. Since then, the Tommies have rattled off 54 wins in five seasons. He won two National Coach of the Year trophies in a row, and his team has 34 straight conference wins and counting. It has very little to do with can we be one point better than them. It has nothing to do with score. We never talk about score. We do always talk about being the best us as we can be. 36! Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm more emotional than the average guy. Backfield recognition, gun, gun. If you want the easy path, quick, quick, quick. Please do not come to St. Thomas because it is not going to work out. I can tell you that right now. They ain't going to pay attention now. Why should I think you're going to pay attention when the clock's running? But if you want to spend your time working for a worthy cause, this might be as worthy as you can find.